What's up crew, Retribution here again, but today I'm bringing you some tier 7 Brooklyn gameplay. So you may notice that there's a different fleet tag and a different name than the Asian server, and this is because I'm on the North American server. So at the moment I decided that I'm going to grind a tier 10 on the NA server and then go back to playing the Asian server when I'm finished. And currently I'm at tier 7, about to be tier 8, only a few thousand XP away from it. By the time this video is uploaded, I probably would have unlocked the tier 8. I don't know if I would have brought it yet due to the costs and the fact that I haven't been running silver boosters when I probably should be running silver and XP boosters. Just the free ones I get from opening chests and things. So I'm teamed up with Duran, who is... In farm also and he is in the tier 7 premium Atlant Atlanta which is a US cruiser and I ran from Founders 4 in the Saipan, Saipan. On the enemy team they have two other premiums which is the West Virginia and the Shan Horse and they also have a destroyer while we do not have a destroyer and the enemy carrier is a ranger, Shifty Queen. Anyway, let's get right into it. Currently, I don't, I don't like the Brooklyn. To, to be dead honest with everyone, I hate, I hated the Dallas, and I kind of hate the Brooklyn. So I would highly recommend to everyone going up the Worcester line for the US Tech Tree is to team up with two good players to hopefully carry you on every game because. This game is this game is is a uh, pretty exceptional game in the Brooklyn. It's a it's not really the heaviest hitting ship, to be dead honest. So I've spawned on the uh, pretty much the the left side here, and I'm going to turn to the left. Looking at the mini map, it looks like all the enemy ships are heading to the left too. You can see them in the distance. They've just disappeared again because they haven't been spotted. So yeah, I, I just. I don't, I don't know. I don't really like this uh, line currently. I'm hoping the Cleveland is much better. He goes a uh, German battleship I'm My zooming man. in on. Gonna start spamming H at him to try to light him on fire. First elbow out. And then set on fire with the first shot. The ship only has seven, uh, 4% sorry, fire chance with each shell and it can put 14 nice out. Roger that. Uh, maybe more than 14, I actually cannot remember. But uh, it has a lot of barrels and a lot of guns. So I'm just constantly, there goes another fire. 10 main hits with the battery, already 10,000 damage. Just gonna let that tick up. I appreciate it. Another fire, he's, he's got his third fire. Now I'm spamming the uh, target, so I hope everyone in the team will hit him. To hopefully remove some guns from the uh, from the fight, so the Bismarck and the Shanus have just fired at me, and all of these shots have missed. I'm just gonna reverse here a little, and a little more on my side, and keep targeting that enemy uh, battleship in the background. I thought that last salvo would have killed him, but this one here will that I've just put out. And there you go, the first kill of the game. First strike uh, badge was awarded. So I see that a friendly Nagato has arrived, and I'm hopefully Good going shot. to be able to hide behind him so that their lock is, um, their aiming lock is stuck on the Nagato and not myself. Also, Duran is behind us in the Atlanta, but he seems to be breaking off to the right if you look at the mini map. Well, two friendly battleships of ours are still in the cap point, so I don't, they're still at our friendly spawn. I don't really know what they're doing, but that's where they are while they're at. Saipan in the... Uh, Saipan is actually up a lot further than all of them. He goes another fire on the Shan Horse. Torpedoes coming in from that Shan Horse there. Turan in Atlanta takes that Shan Horse down. 
I have to switch to the Bismarck. Drop Sonar because I could not remember at this stage that the Bismarck also carries torpedoes or not. So someone can drop in the comments if it does or doesn't because I cannot remember. But I thought it would, so I was kind of a little worried at this moment. Changing direction so that if it had launched torpedoes, I would have detected and he might not have hit me. So here I am just trying to turn out in case it did have torpedoes, which obviously doesn't. Well, it might, and he might have really used them and missed us. Good job. The Nagato and I are just laying into this Bismarck here. We I the lit a third fire while the uh, Nagato lit two, two fires on him already. One's about to run out, and here he goes. And he's lit that uh, enemy Bismarck has left me with 711 health. That ranger in the distance taking a beating. Here I am, just going down this left flank here, trying to uh, close the distance on this, what looks like a West Virginia, and there it is, has just popped into range, that West Virginia is just taking out Duran in that Atlanta. So his guns are not facing me, so I know I'm kind of safe at the moment, and I'm just going to start trying to set him on fire, hopefully he's used damage control but I nice would not shot. know because he's just used it just then actually so the next fires I set on him will be permanent fires our friendly West Virginia just took out the enemy ranger another fire has been set on that West Virginia and he's about to go down and he is turning all the way to me and I haven't noticed noticed him fire and he was aiming on me and there he goes he's taking me out don't, I do not know why he decided just to kill me instead of farming a bit more extra damage on the friendly battleship that was on his right side, but that was his decision, not mine. I personally would have gone for the damage. Nagato with the MVP of the game. He has my first strike badge, 68,667 damage done by myself, which is a pretty exceptional game in the Brooklyn. Third on the team, 225 main battery hits, 27 secondary hits, 8 fires, at 16,000 fire damage and 1 kill. So this is the Brooklyn and I was running a XP booster that I had saved up, cheeky we are uh, typed to the teammates, that's coming on YouTube. Yeah, I'm also running a uh, the Blitz camo, which gives you 65% increase in XP. So, yeah. And this is the line I'm going up. About to get to Cleveland, only 7,000 XP away. By the time this video is uploaded, I will have it. So, thanks everyone for watching. You can add me on the NA server if you'd like. I will be posting my... Uh, my profile on the end and the start of this video so yeah thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe drop a comment below and yeah thanks team